the game that started the franchise and launched a new career in survival horror. The one that took it away from the main thread of the story and sparked off a brand new uh, timeline. The very first sequel of the franchise, which takes place about 17 years after the original game. A rather intriguing step away from the original way they finally decided to do things, which has split many of devoted fans of the series. It is the year 2004 and Team Silent. Excuse you. Team Silent uh, takes uh, a couple of novel approaches to um, the series that they start up. First um, change you'll notice is change of viewpoint, going from over the shoulder to first person, and just quickly going to the next uh, part of the difference uh, they made, uh, first of all, look see, and that's enough of the cutscene, for those of you who like to see it, there are always uh, the cutscene of uh, the um, Let's Play of Psychedelic Snake. And there's our protagonist, Henry Townsend. Fascinating character. The second. Oh. All right, let's do that first. The second change is, although you won't see it in this uh, video, is that and. Um, the game gives you a limited amount of inventory space, a total of only 10 items, which makes the game uh, rather more Resident Evil than Silent Hill. Oh. And another mm -hmm. little um, change What's your name? is that in every single world, me so I know. Uh, in the case of the subway world, <laughs> the name for it, I know. You meet this charming lady. It's in Lots of last name. It's in a it's in my game going so I might put a, a note in the uh, description. I hope I wake up soon. So you think this is a dream, huh? Well, if it's not a dream, what is it? As the game progresses, you'll know what I it is. I want to get out of here, but I can't find the exit. Say, will you help me find it? Oh, now, who can... Who can resist um, enough like that? And not only is the first character a companion of sorts, uh, she's, she's much like um, Maria of Silent Hill 2. Not much of a fighter, but easy on the eyes. Of course, uh, everyone you actually meet 
in each of the worlds actually um, dies. As I said, the first one is Cynthia. Are you okay? And he had noticed that Henry asked the most stupid questions. As you might have noticed, would be the little pain thing. She has a number carved into her. I, I feel like I'm dying. Interesting. Um, the reason why each character was actually chosen. Uh, anyone that's actually interested in finding out that, I will um, go into detail as much as I um, actually can. After each one dies, you go back to your apartment. That is very short, I think. Okay, the one that seems to um, survive the attacks against each of the people in in the um the different worlds is well I was going to introduce her but she's been introduced already and there is her number notice the injuries on her this is slightly different than any um Escort duty you'll ever have. What are you doing here? I don't. I don't know where to start. There was this strange hole in my door. I'll introduce you to the hole later. Weird other worlds. That's how you get there too. I'm supposed to believe that? But it's true. And there was a kid with you. Here's something that's really uh, unusual to hear. Listen carefully. My voice Now, anyone who knows the game would know that's weird. You get hauntings in the apartment that hurt you if you get too close. It's not a very impressive one according, uh, compared to the others, but I thought I'd show you a haunting. There's none. Uh, oh, and this is the hole that Eileen was talking well, Penny was talking about. The what it was originally in the bathroom, but. Okay, um, after a while it tur turns up in the utility closet. I don't know what you'd call that room. But it's a weird hole. It, the first one you have to actually crawl through manually, but... 
and um, occasionally you can um, play with the loading screens icon. Um, as I said, this is the escort duty. Basically, for some Australian Eileen never can be killed um, in the worlds you go to. But you can be uh, corrupted, shall we say. Well, hello. Well, you see this. Here is a victim. Uh, there's many of them around and they can hurt you if they get too close to you and they can merge through the um, solid objects around you so fleeing them doesn't always guarantee safety as this will show you this one is well known to people. It's the first one you saw get die. It's the very first uh, death in the game. And as you can see, can go through solid objects. They all can. Anyway, this is a silent hill for the room, and in the zone 705, saying 